Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elb Ronan here again, and today we're going to be going over Bakugo in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix Edition. Now, Bakugo, just like all the other characters I've gone over, is way more fun in Remix Edition than he is in vanilla My Hero 1's Justice. Um, and the only way I think I can explain it is by saying he feels more like Bakugo. He feels more like how the character is. He's more about running in and like doing pressure and doing big combos and doing big damage and mix-ups and pressure again. Rather than the Bakugo we had before where he kind of just runs around and like does those like long explosions and stuff. And he runs around and just constantly does those and like runs away. Like that, that doesn't feel like Bakugo. Bakugo feels like he's up in your face, he's screaming at you and doing pressure mix-ups and stuff. And that's exactly how he is in this version. And um, yeah, so let's just show you one of the combos. And the combo uses one of the biggest changes is that now his tilt quirk one is actually this bomb release that was his charged quirk one before. And now his quirk one is still just this, but if he charges it, then he gets to do the long explosions. So that explosion projectile like thing that used to be really annoying, now he actually has to charge up in order to do that, which I think is pretty pretty good and pretty fair. Um, but yes, his tilt quirk one is now this explosion and actually stays on the screen if it doesn't hit the opponent. It's very interesting, has a much better hitbox because it will actually like hit the opponent. Oops. You actually hit the opponent and they get bounced for a while, so you can actually go and get a full combo afterwards. And it leads to some pretty good combos, so something like this leads to some pretty good damage. And then put him in a wall with a quirk 2. Yep. And then do this. And then even just something simple like this, because he might be too low soon. Yeah, 11,000 damage. Zero dash cancels, by the way. That was zero dash cancels, very easy combo. And he can just get that off of basically anything. He doesn't even have to do it after his, um, his, like, grab. Like, he, as you saw me do there. He can get it, like, basically off of anything. Like, even his regular attack string, he can actually get it off of. Like, that just works. So if you accidentally do the full attack string, you can still get the combo. Because I know I sometimes accidentally do a full attack string, especially when it's, like, online and all the lag and stuff. So even after that, he can get the combo, charge in, get all of his explosions going. Tons of explosions. See, lots of damage very easily, and you know, if you get the wall splat, obviously you're getting even more. And um, this isn't optimal, but I, a way I really like comboing into it is um, after his quirk ones into quirk two, and you can actually now cancel his quirk two into tilt quirk two, which works in a combo like this. So if I do a few quirk ones into quirk two into tilt quirk two. That actually combos. This isn't optimal because unfortunately it scales a lot, but come on, that just looks so cool. Like all those explosions, see, yeah, they meteor blow early, but like that looks so cool with that, like going just, oops. All these explosions, and then he just runs through the explosions and grabs you. Oops. Grabs you, punches you in the stomach, then does these big explosions, and then, yeah, that wall's splattered then, but whatever. It's just crazy, and he's so much fun, and yeah, his combos, can he can get, yeah, basically like 9,000 or more damage off of everything, and it's not about having a lot of damage, it's about being able to do the damage, and also, the combos have to look cool, the way you do the damage has to look cool, because, you know, style is important, and they look really awesome, with this, like, big explosion, and then you jump into the air, and then chase after them, and do the air attack into these, if they can be a bit tricky to time, you have to do the air attack, and then wait a bit, and then do his quirk ones, because if you do them instantly, he kind of misses. Um, and yes, you can actually attack the opponent from the ground, but I find that it's usually best to just go from the air, because he doesn't really get too much off of the ground. Like, because he misses the second hit, so I, there's usually not too much of a reason to do that. So yeah, I always just jump into the air. Dash up, attack, quirk ones, and then quirk two. And if it puts him in the wall, puts him in the wall, then you get to get even more of a combo. Oh no, that's gonna... And, uh, yeah, you can do stuff. <laughs> and, honestly, those are, like, the main changes to Bakugou. Like, they're the only things that really changed. But, oh my god, is it so much fun. And, yeah, so he has these really cool combos. There's a bunch of versions of them. Um, with, you know, the Tilt Quirk 1 and stuff. Now that he can throw that out and it explodes on the opponent. And you can get a combo of it meterlessly, which is really awesome. So he gets meterless damage, which I feel like suits Bakugo. He gets big chunks of damage meterlessly, so he can just go in and do crazy stuff. And yeah, it's just so much fun. 
but a little bit of note on his Tilkwak 1, it actually becomes a really interesting tool in Bakugo's arsenal. Because now it kind of is almost actually a setup tool, because it's like a lingering like landmine explosion where it just waits there until the opponent walks into it, and as soon as they're in the vicinity, they'll get hit by it. So like, say, wait, let me punch them out of this way. And see, that's over there. And then if they had walked into that, it would have hit them. So it doesn't actually explode until they run into it. See how I throw that one there? And now that I spawn him on there, they get hit by it. So it just waits around for a little bit. It doesn't stay there for too long, but it stays for a yeah, decent amount of time. And it actually explodes. So it'll just wait there a bit and then explode. So if your opponent accidentally is like walking by or something, they're going to get blown up by this. And then you can charge in and, you know, get a full combo going. Like if you think that they're going to get blown up by it, you can react to it. And then, yeah, get some juicy Bakugo damage. throw them in the wall, and all kinds of stuff like that. And by the way, the air portion of the combo that I like to do is just attack into a few Quirk 1s, to qu Quirk 2 actually into the Tilt Quirk 2, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you're gonna get the damage either way, so you may as well go for it. But sometimes he can go for the grab, and then go for another Quirk 2 after the grab, as you can see here. And that's a lot of damage just for the air portion of the combo, 7,000, like, damn. And it also doesn't meter blow, so that's what you usually like to do in the air part of the combo. But yeah, other than that, Bakugo is kind of like an absolute machine, and I love how he is in this version. So he's not ch charging around doing that, like, this explosion that people always did, and then just throw that out and then run away. Now he actually has these bombs that you can't really zone with, because they're kind of slow and push him back a bit. And, you know, they're not e extremely fast, and they also, like, stay on the screen and, you know, don't activate, and they don't go too far. Like, even here, it won't hit the opponent. But they're really cool things that he can throw out and, like, on recovery. Like, if the opponent's meteor blown, or make... So yeah, say if I, I'm just going to turn them off with recovery right now. Okay, they're already off. So if I do something like this, just to like get him to meaty blow. If I do a full combo and they get meaty blown, you know, pretend I just did a really long combo. As you can see there, I can throw out my tilt work one and it just waits on top of their like meaty blown body, waiting for them to stand up. And as soon as they stand up, oops, it will explode. So they either have to block it or do something to avoid it. But there's not much they can do, because it's just sitting there on top of them, and it'll explode as soon as they can get hit. And then, if you react to them getting hit by it, you can get a full combo. And obviously, if they do end up blocking it, it's going to be a full combo for you. So see if I, um... Put Bakugo onto blocking, and after he I do an attack, he attacks me. So as you can see, if I do it, like, where it does the... It doesn't explode immediately, and then hits him, like, I am extremely plus on block. So if I do this, you know... We're imagining right now, but so imagine I've knocked him down, I've done a meteor blow, and then he like just wakes up and blocks it. I have so much time to go in and press buttons before he can even move. So you're so plus, you can go in like even for a red attack off of it, like a red attack before it even explodes. There's just so much mix-ups he has off of this. You know, go in for a full combo, get all your damage again, just because the opponent decided to press buttons when you're plus on block. It's pretty crazy stuff. So yeah. They have, like, either they block this or they get hit by it. And both of the options, like, are not great for them. So if they decide to block it, as we said before, you can go for, like, maybe a red attack as your mix-up. Or you can just go in for more pressure, honestly. Like, you can just go in for some regular attacks. And, you know, maybe they accidentally get hit by something or you mix them up. It's just crazy. And, like, you can go in for a bunch of, like, of these on block. Because, you know, these are always crazy on block. Because you can just throw them out constantly. And you like you never know when he's gonna stop them, and he can you cannot slip them into the red attack. No, so he's got tons of mix right now here. If I turn the opponent off of guard, um, attack after the guard, and I just have him guard. Look at the pressure the Bakugo can do. Like he can do a bunch of these, and then like go into Quirk two. And if they think you're gonna go into Quirk two, you can actually just do a few of these, and then oops. Wait, I need that guard to break. I mean, that guard me to come back. I mean. But if, they, if they, they think you're gonna go for the thing, you can go in for the red attack, they get mixed up by the red attack, now you're going in for a full combo, they maybe go in the wall like they did just then. This is just so crazy, he's so much pressure, mixed up up close, he's a crazy character, and he can also keep himself completely safe right now. So if I turn the opponent back onto uh, action after guarding, so see how the first attack of his attack string is actually unsafe? I'm holding block and he can still punish me. So now he can actually make his attack string completely safe by just get, taking it into this, and oh what? Okay, before I was able to block after this, so I guess it's not completely safe. There we go. So I guess it just depends on how close you are. But basically, he can keep himself almost, like, perfectly safe, because the opponent, you know, and people you face aren't AIs, and they're not gonna 
react perfectly every time. But yeah, I don't know why that's not working. That was working perfectly before. But yeah, basically he can keep himself safe after his attack strings. And like if he just, just does it a little bit later and they're trying to do perfect timing. There we go. So maybe I, if I just don't do it instantly. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. But yeah, whatever. He can keep himself safe. Yeah, like that. And then, you know, punish their punishes and stuff and all that good stuff. And also, you know, he can either be plus on block or he can be safe on block. So it's also, you know, good kill for pressure and keeping himself safe. But it's also really good for when you're in the neutral. And you know when when you're in this neutral game in my Hero 1 Chester 2, you're always really scared to throw out a button because there's so much recovery. Like, see, if I throw out a button, they're probably going to sidestep and punish me for doing that button. But Bakugo can actually cancel his buttons into his tilt quirk one. So he can, like, throw that out on the screen. It's either, like, a projectile that would explode in their face, or they have to block it, and then you're plus on block. And so yeah, it just keeps yourself safe. It's like, oops, I accidentally do two hits and I think they might punish me. I can quickly throw out my tilt block one and, you know, cancel that and throw something out at them. Because, you know, if you press the button out here accidentally, you know, you're whiffing all over the place, they're going to punish you. You don't have to do the whole attack string. You can just do a few hits and then go into this. And then maybe they get hit by it, maybe they block it. It's a win-win, honestly. It's really amazing. But, uh, yeah, that's basically Bakugo. He's got crazy pressure, he's got crazy combos. He can keep himself safe. He's got really powerful neutral now with it being able to cancel his buttons into his tilt block one. It makes him a lot more effective. And he also has really good setup games. So whether it's on Meteor Blow, um, like when you're doing resets there, or just, you know, even after a normal combo and the opponent gets sent flying away, throw, throw one of these up, and then it's just waiting in front of you and they don't want to charge straight in. There's just so much cool stuff he can do with these new moves he has. And I love how they removed his like weird zoning where he just keeps throwing out these. Because now he has to get up close and go for his combos, go for his mix-ups, go for his pressure, all that lovely stuff we like to see from Bakugo. So yeah, he's a crazy character. And uh, I'm also just going to quickly show you that, uh, yeah, he still has like good plus ultra combos. Because I just realized I forgot to talk about plus ultra. But yeah, he's still obviously getting big damage from his plus ultra. It still throws the opponent in the wall, so does big damage. Um, actually, I'll quickly show a combo that you can do like with Aizawa. Oh, wait, I forgot to call Aizawa. <laughs> need to call him out beforehand, because, you know, Bakugo's plus ultra is very quick. Okay, hopefully this works. And, uh, yeah, kind of messed it up, but usually it's about 15,000 damage. So, yep, he can combo up with his plus ultra. And it, that could have thrown him into the wall as well, and you get even more damage. Like, if you got a wall splat, probably would have been about 16,000, but I don't feel like trying to angle how that will work. But, uh, yeah, as I just explained for, like, half an hour, Bakugo is a super fun character, and I highly suggest you try him out if you have My Hero 1's Justice 2 Remix, because he's a crazy fun character. I, I love him now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed, and see you